head to console.aws.amazon.com and search for AWS Amplify. Open it when you find it. Click the new app drop down and select build an app. Click confirm deployment. Wait for a few minutes for the deployment process to finish. And once it is done, click the launch studio button. This will open Amplify Studio in a new tab. From Amplify Studio, we can enable authentication, model a database, and add content to the database after the model is deployed. We can also import UI components from Figma using the UI Builder. Let's start with enabling authentication since we only need logged in customers to access our content. You can make the password as strong or as weak as you want. Now deploy the authentication when you are done configuring it. Give the process a few minutes and once it is done, you should get a status update that the auth has been deployed. Next, click data from the sidebar menu and add a model. We will call the model testimonial since it is going to represent the testimonial data from our customers. It's going to have an ID, the name of the customer, the avatar URL of the customer, and lastly, the customer's testimony. We need one more model which will represent the protected data. It's going to have an ID, a title, a body, a description, and finally, a read time which is going to be an integer. Click save and deploy and confirm the deployment. Then give it a few seconds to complete. Now, just like when we deployed auth, you will get a status update when the database has been provisioned. Now that you have a data model, let's add some test content to it. Click content from the sidebar menu and from there we can choose to add content to either the post table or the testimonial table. To add some data to the testimonial table, click auto-generate seed data and enter 6 in the rows field. We also need to add some constraints. The first constraint will be on the name and we need to make it a full name. The second constraint is on the avatar and since I intend to use URLs here, I will choose word length between 0 and 0 so it remains empty. The third constraint is on testimony and the sentence length will be between 2 to 5. Click generate data to see the table with the data. We can then go ahead to add placeholder images to each of the rows by clicking a row and pasting the image URL. Next, select post from the list of tables and click auto generate seed data so we can do the same thing for the post table. We need 10 rows for this one. The title should have a sentence length between 1 to 4. The description should have a sentence length between 3 to 7. The body should have a paragraph length between 15 and 30. And lastly, the read time should range from 2 to 10. Click generate data to see the table. Finally, we need to pull in the components in the Figma project. Go to the UI library and you should see an option to get started. To get started, we need a Figma project link. Go ahead and copy it. Then click the get started button, paste the link and click continue. After a few seconds, Amplify will fetch the components and the theme from Figma. Click accept all changes to accept the themes and click accept all to accept all the components. We now have all the components from Figma pulled into the Amplify project. You can see the hero section, which I showed you earlier. There's also the navbar and persuade components. We also have the UI theme section and you can see that the primary color is now orange instead of the original teal color.